Hi, my name is Aisha Massell. I was a student when I first began the, the Strawberry Creek Ecological Stabilization Project. I've now graduated and I'm working at UC Berkeley's Office of Environment, Health and Safety where I continue to work on Strawberry Creek related issues. We're replacing uh, two failed concrete check dams that were installed many decades ago. We're removing those and we're installing um, analogous rock step pool structures that are uh, flexible in nature, they're able to adjust to the environment and they'll provide pool habitat for uh, some of the, the species that are present. Uh, we have three different fish species that uh, the environmental health folks have uh, trying to bring back into the creek. Strawberry Creek has two main forks, the North Fork and the South Fork. The South Fork drains an area that's largely undeveloped up in the hills, very steep terrain, and it's where the botanical garden is and the fire trail. The North Fork drains more of an urbanized area of North Berkeley. Once those two forks meet each other here at the confluence, they join together into the main stem of Strawberry Creek, and then they get culverted under the city of Berkeley and outlet into the San Francisco Bay. Strawberry Creek is like many other urban watersheds in the United States. The creek has often been ignored. Uh, now we no longer dump our sewage in the creek, however, we do use it to get rid of our stormwater flows and results in a lot of erosion and a lot of high water flows. So once I understood that this was a project that needed to happen, that needed to be spearheaded by someone, I applied for a grant from the Green Initiative Fund. We can actually uh, get the water, that rainwater, in our watershed into the ground to be used by plants for the benefit of many animals and, and humans as well. You know, we would look at um, the creek system, the hydrology, uh, model the, the hydraulics, um, estimate the velocities and shear stress. And from that information, we look at you know, what, what kind of rock structure and what size of rock uh, can withstand the anticipated forces from, you know, usually we design between the 10 and the 25 year storm to make sure that the structure will be stable. Ideally, this project is the beginning of many projects that we can do here on Strawberry Creek to be able to put something back into the community and to bring my daughter and family and anybody who visits to show them projects that I've worked on and um, you know professors that I've worked with in the past. It feels good to be able to contribute something uh, to the campus in that way.